Good morning, folks. Nobody should be surprised that these fish are so tainted, but that lack of surprise lessens not the seriousness of the situation. I've been getting my financial news from Hyper Report, but I'll share this one with you as a reminder that China isn't doing well either. Volcanic activity has been watched closely in New Zealand of late, and the scenario merits further attention be paid. The heat wave continues in parts of Europe, even some buildings are beginning to crumble under the heat. You can see that red high pressure system is still located over a majority of the continent. Let's hope the relief coming for the north isn't the severe variety. Speaking of severe, we are seeing some insane short-lived rainfalls. These are pictures that came in from Las Vegas, link is below. One of the weather records set yesterday that really caught my eye happened over the span of five minutes, over half an inch of rain in New Liberty, Colorado. There's no other way to slice it, that's a snapshot of a deluge. Don't forget Isaac is headed on course for Florida, expected to hit as a hurricane. I suppose it could be worse, not like we got two cyclones bearing down on us or anything. Of course, as always, don't forget to check Torcon midday for your severe weather threat tonight. The cosmic ray charts are showing some larger circles at the end. Appears to be a short surplus followed by a deficit. Looking at the solar wind, the orange and the yellow, density and the speed, are low on the left as the coronal hole stream ended, but you see they take small upticks as we come to the right. Now this is not some major CME that hit us, but if you come up to the top you can see that the BZ tipped south and pretty much stayed there. Our shields were not able to block all of the solar plasma, and the electrons took a dive like we were ready for a geomagnetic storm. But the Ovation Prime tells the tale, we only went from minor to moderate particle bombardment. I guess our shields are continuing to fade. At least there shouldn't be too many big flares today. I know the planets say to watch now, but remember the short term portion requires dangerous sunspots and the bottom left is our only moderate candidate for that. So why then can we see ejecta coming out of the sun? If there are no flares, earth is the yellow dot, so that ejection we should be able to see somewhere on the right side of the sun as we look at it. Well. Here's our culprit, and it wasn't a flare. It's a fierce reminder of why Earth-facing plasma filaments pose such a threat. They rip off without the warning bells of flare radiation, and they tend to be compact CMEs. Beyond that, we do have another coronal hole stream on the way from that central dark spot, and I'll also draw your attention to the left, having just discussed plasma filaments, and leave you with a shot of this magnetic mess. That's the news, folks. Be safe.